In this example problem, we'll calculate the pH of a weak polyprotic acid solution. Our solution is a one molar solution of phosphoric acid. We're given the stepwise dissociation constants for the first, second, and third dissociation. Our first step is to determine what the major species will be in solution. Since phosphoric acid is a weak acid, it will not dissociate appreciably. So our major species will be water and phosphoric acid. The next step is to write the equilibrium expressions that will produce H3O+. Water will auto-ionize to produce H3O plus and hydroxide, and its equilibrium constant is 1 times 10 to the negative 14th, which is Kw. For phosphoric acid, the first dissociation constant is given, and that equilibrium is shown here. Phosphoric acid will combine with water to produce hydronium and dihydrogen phosphate. This second equilibrium expression will be the one that determines the pH. Our next step is to create a rice table. So we can put this reaction at the top. Our initial concentration of phosphoric acid is 1, and our initial hydronium and dihydrogen phosphate concentrations will be 0. Since we don't have any product, our change in concentration for phosphoric acid will be negative x, and our change in concentration for hydronium and dihydrogen phosphate will be positive x. So the equilibrium concentrations will be 1 minus x, x, and x. We can write the equilibrium constant expression for this reaction, and that will be the dihydrogen phosphate concentration times the hydronium ion concentration divided by the phosphoric acid concentration, and that's going to be at equilibrium x times x divided by 1 minus x, and that equals 7.5 times 10 to the negative third. To solve for x, we'll first try making a simplifying assumption. We'll assume that 1 minus x is approximately equal to 1. So if we replace 1 minus x with just 1, we'll get x squared divided by 1 equals 7.5 times 10 to the negative third. So to solve for x, we take the square root of both sides. So x equals the square root of 7.5 times 10 to the negative third, which is equal to 0 0.0866. We have to check whether or not our assumption is valid, so we'll calculate the percent error. When we calculate percent error, we'll come up with 9.48%. Because our error is greater than 5%, our assumption is not valid. It does not meet the 5% rule. So we have to solve for x using the quadratic formula. If we multiply both sides by 1 minus x, we'll get x squared equals 1 minus x times 7.5 times 10 to the negative third. The next step is to distribute the 1 minus x. After distributing the 1 minus x, we need to get all terms to one side. So we can subtract 7.5 times 10 to the negative third and add 7.5 times 10 to the negative third x to both sides. Now we have our equation in the form that we need it for the quadratic formula. So the quadratic formula is x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. We can plug in our values for a, b, and c a is 1, b is 7.5 times 10 to the negative third, and c is negative 7.5 times 10 to the negative third. If you put this into your calculator, you should get 
0.0829 or negative 0.0904. Only the positive number will make sense given our rice table. And notice that our 0.0829 is fairly far away from our 0.0866 we got using our simplifying assumption. So our simplifying assumption added in too much error. Going back to our rice table, we know that the hydronium ion concentration is equal to x, which is 0.0829. To calculate pH, we'll have pH equals negative log of the hydronium ion concentration, which is 1.08. So the pH of our polyprotic acid solution will be 1.08.